Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our stack series and in the previous video we learned about implementation of a stack using array. Alright and in this video we are going to learn about implementation of a stack using a linked list. Alright so I hope like you remember what is a stack. Stack is basically a data structure which follows the leaf order which is last and first of all right and i also hope you remember what is a linked list so linked list is basically a data structure which contains nodes uh, and every node contains two things data and address of the node it is pointing to all right so this is the basic stuff you should be knowing it okay so we have to like implement uh, stack using a linked list and here are the functions which we have to implement so we have to implement the push function we have to implement the pop function we have to implement the is empty size and top so we know what is a push function uh, it uh, pushes a value inside a stack pop uh, removes the top element is empty tells us whether the stack is empty or not size tells the size of the stack and top uh, gives us the top element of the stack. All right. So suppose my stack contains five, ten, and fifteen. All right. So my linked list, which is implementing the stack, should look like this. All right. Yes. Now, if I say, uh, if you remember in our linked list, you always uh, have the head pointer with us. So if I say I have to uh, add an element here, suppose if I have to add 20, suppose if I have to add 20, so what I'm going to do, I have to like traverse this linked list till the end, and then I'll add 20 here. So the traversal will uh, take big go of n time, right? But I already told you that we have to do all these functions in big of one time. So a better solution would be to make our stack look like this. Just give me a minute. All right, 15, 10, and five, right? So if I have to add an element here, we'll like, suppose I have to add 20. So I'll simply create a node of 20. 20 is going to point here and then head is head will point here. All right. And similarly, if I have to like uh, remove this 15, what I'll do, I'll simply uh, increment the head here. So all this is going to take big off one time. So uh, we have to like add every element, new element at the head in the beginning of the linked list. All right. So now without any delay, let's try and code this. And after that, we'll uh, do a dry run. Let me increase the size a bit. Okay. Let's include a header file. My bad, one minute. All right. So if you remember, we have to make a structure of our linked list. So let's make the structure of our linked list. Right, it is going to contain data and it is uh, going to contain a next node. All right, and if I say node index uh, data is going to be x and next is going to be null. Okay. So this is the basic uh, linked list 
creation code uh, which we have already discussed in the linked list series so I'm not going deep into this thing now uh, let's write our my stack which is our stack structure all right so let's have the head here and let's have the size which will contain the size and let's uh, make the constructor for it um, initially size is going to be zero and head is going to be null in our constructor all right now let's write a push function so suppose i have to write a push function it is in text so i'll make a node star tim is equal to new node x all right now i have to insert this in the beginning so what i'll do i'll simply do tim next is equal to head and head is equal to 10 all right and i'm going to increase the size now um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the int pop function which will give which will pop the top element and uh, gives and will give us what is the top element okay so what we can do is if head is equal to null that means there is no element so we don't have anything to pop out so we'll just write see out empty all right and what we can do is we'll have int res which will contain the head data all right and i'm going to have node star temp is equal to head all right and i'm just going to do head as head next and then i'll simply delete our temp that makes sense i'll decrement the size and i'll simply return our uh, res all right if I write, if I have to write int top, it is going to give me the value of the top element of our stack. Our top element would be basically the value stored in our head of our linked list, right? So I just simply do return head data. Cool. Now if I write about int size, so it's will simply be return size all right and if i have to uh, write the function bool empty so if um what i'll do i'll simply return head is equal to equal to null cool so i have written all the functions void push int pop int top and size and bool empty okay now i'll write int main and here what i'm going to do is uh, simply make uh, my stack object s all right and simply I'm going to push 5 let me close this thing so we'll have more space here All right. then I'm going to push 10 then I'm going to push 20 okay now I'll simply write c out s dot pop end I'm going to write C out S dot size. All 
all right and i'm going to write um s dot top and i'm going to simply write s dot um empty okay um let's try and run this code okay so our answer is 2010 uh, 2210 now let's have a dry run to see whether what we got is right or not okay so here uh, we have our okay okay i cannot make the right line straight um uh, give me one more time and okay this would work so if i see here in my stack currently my according to my constructor my head is going to be null and its size is going to be zero all right so size is what zero and head is equal to null all right now what i am going to do is uh i am doing s dot push as 5 all right so uh if i write my linked list it would look something like this pointing to null and here i'll have an element 5 now what will happen uh i'm going to push 10 so 10 would come here right and i'll push 10 here and this is going to be my head now what will happen i'm going to push 20 here so i'm going to push 20 and 20 will come here and head will point towards here and size would become 3 for every insertion our size is also going to increment so we increment as uh, we inserted three times so our size would increment by 3 okay cool now i am doing s dot pop so in uh, pop what we are uh, doing exactly we are returning the top element or head in our linked list and deleting the head so that means we should get the output as 20 okay removing this element from here making this as our head and decrementing size by 1 so size would become 2 cool now uh, what we have here is uh, we have to return the size so we will simply return the this as z so we will get 2 then we have to tell the top element top element basically is going to be top element here which is going to be head this one so we'll get 10 here and next is whether it is empty or not so our stack would be empty when our head is going to point towards null so our head is not pointing towards null so we'll get the output as zero so we should get this as our output to cross check let's see Okay. What is the problem here? Twenty-two ten zero. The same output. All right. So I guess that was it for this uh, video where we implemented a stack using our linked list. So we have uh, learned about. implementing a stack using array as well as our linked list and in the next video we are going to talk about uh, c++ stl which is standard template libraries it has its own stack class and related functions so we will talk about it in the next video so thank you for watching this video and if you have any doubt regarding it you can put it in the comment section
So thank you and see you later.